Hello, welcome to today's Odyssey, where we will dive into the fascinating world of social intelligence. Imagine you are at a party and you meet someone new. How do you start a conversation with them? How do you keep them interested in? What you have to say? How do you make them feel comfortable and valued? These are some of the questions that social intelligence can help you answer. Social intelligence is the ability to understand and interact effectively with others in various social situations. It involves skills such as empathy, communication, cooperation, and persuasion. Social intelligence is important because it affects our personal and professional relationships, our mental and physical health, and our overall happiness and well-being. But what if you lack social intelligence? How do you know if you have low social skills and how can you improve them in this video? We will reveal some signs of low social intelligence that you may not be aware of, some tips to enhance your social skills that you may not have tried before, and some cultural differences that may surprise you or challenge you. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of yourself and others, and you will be able to navigate the complex and dynamic social world with more ease and confidence. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey. One of the signs of low social intelligence is invading personal space. It varies depending on the context, the relationship, and the culture. For example, when you are talking to a stranger, you may prefer to keep a few feet away from them. But when you are talking to a friend, you may be okay with hugging them or sitting next to them. If you get too close to someone who is not comfortable with you, you may make them feel anxious, annoyed, or threatened. They may try to move away from you, cross their arms, or look away from you. It's really important to pay attention to how people react to your proximity and respect their boundaries. Another sign of low social intelligence is having poor skills to start maintain and end a conversation effectively. Here are some tips on what you could do. Ask open-ended questions to get people talking and show interest. Say, what did you think of that movie rather than just, did you like it to get the other person talking? There's a difference you can tell. Be sure to share relevant stories or humor when appropriate to make the conversation engaging. But don't overshare personal details. Also, avoid over-controversial or boring topics. Read cues to know when to change the subject. Use transitions like that reminds me, or summaries like, so in short, to move the conversation along smoothly, you can practice active listening by reflecting back what the person said to confirm. Understanding, be mindful of the context and relationship conversations require give and take, not monopolizing. Another sign of low social intelligence is offering unsolicited advice to avoid seeming incompetent. You should only offer advice when the other person explicitly asks for it. Don't assume they want your input. When you do want to share an opinion, phrase it as a suggestion rather than a command, say you may want to try rather than you should do, and be mindful of timing, unsolicited advice. When someone is upset can seem patronizing, wait until asked and consider the fact that close friends and family may be more open to suggestions than acquaintances. A fifth sign of low social intelligence that may be easy to miss is missing cues to end a conversation. They can include things like looking at the clock, checking the phone, yawning, or saying, I have to go. These cues can be subtle or obvious, but they are important to respect and respond to. If you miss these cues or ignore them, you may make people feel trapped, bored, or frustrated. They may try to be polite, but they may also lose interest or respect for you. You have to pay attention to the cues and respond accordingly. End the conversation gracefully and thank the person for their time. If you recognize yourself in any of these signs of low social intelligence, don't worry. Social intelligence is not a fixed trait that you are born with or without. It is a skill that can be learned and improved with practice and feedback. Here are some tips to help you enhance your social skills. Observe others who have high social intelligence and learn from them. Watch how they behave in different situations and how they interact with different people. Notice their body language, their tone of voice, their facial expressions, and their words. Try to emulate their positive behaviors and avoid their negative ones. Practice public speaking or join a debate club. 
These activities will help you improve your confidence, your clarity, your persuasion, and your ability to handle different opinions and arguments. You will learn how to express yourself effectively, how to support your points with evidence, how to counter opposing views, and how to respect others' perspectives. Take acting classes or join a theater group. These activities will help you improve your creativity, your expression, your empathy, and your ability to adapt to different roles and scenarios. You will learn how to use your voice, your face, and your body to convey emotions, how to improvise and think on your feet, how to understand and portray different characters, and how to collaborate with others. Learn about social roles and norms. Social roles are the expectations that society has for different groups of people based on their age, gender, occupation, etc. Social norms are the unwritten rules that govern how people behave in different situations based on their culture, religion, etc. Knowing these roles and norms will help you understand what is expected of you and what is appropriate for each context. You will learn how to fit in and stand out in different groups and settings. Develop conversational skills. Conversational skills are the skills that enable you to start, maintain, and end a conversation effectively. They include things like choosing a topic that is relevant and interesting for both parties. To make the conversation engaging, it's best to avoid topics that are sensitive, controversial, or boring, and using transitions, summaries, and questions to move the conversation along. Listening is the most important skill in any conversation. It shows that you care about what the other person has to say and that you are interested in learning from them. Asking thoughtful questions is a way of listening actively and showing curiosity and respect. It also helps you to clarify, confirm, or challenge what the other person says and to deepen the conversation. Another factor that can impact your social intelligence is cultural differences. For one thing, personal space varies. Some cultures stand closer when conversing, such as Latin America. Others prefer more distance, like North America. Invading space can feel uncomfortable depending on the culture. Communication styles also differ. Some cultures are very direct, like North America, others more indirect, like Asia. Direct communicators may find indirect speech confusing, and indirect communicators may find direct speech as rude or aggressive. The key is to be aware of these differences and adjust your behavior accordingly. Be open-minded and show respect for other cultural norms. These are just some examples of cultural differences in social norms. There are many more differences that may affect your social interactions with people from different backgrounds. To improve your social intelligence across cultures, you need to be open-minded, respectful, and curious. Learn about the culture of the people you interact with and try to understand their perspective. Ask questions if you are unsure or confused about something and apologize if you make a mistake. Remember that diversity is a source of richness and learning. I want to address some common questions that you may have about social intelligence. First of all, why do people lack social awareness? There are many possible reasons why people may lack social awareness. Some of them are insecure, arrogant, neurodiverse. They may lack social awareness because they are too focused on their own thoughts and feelings and not enough on those of others. They may also avoid social situations because they fear rejection or criticism. Some people actually feel superior or confident compared to others, and that might be the reason why they may lack social awareness because they think they know everything and they don't need to listen or learn from others. It's literally an attitude they have. They may also dominate social situations because they want to impress or influence others. Lastly, people have different neurological conditions that affect their cognition, emotion, or behavior. They may lack social awareness because they have difficulty processing social cues or norms. They may also struggle with social situations because they have different needs or preferences than others. How do you deal with someone close to you who lacks social skills? Having someone close to you who lacks social skills can be challenging and frustrating. However, there are some strategies that can help you cope and improve the situation. One strategy is to give feedback. You tell someone how their behavior affects you or others in a constructive and respectful way. 
This can help them become more aware of their strengths and weaknesses and motivate them to change their behavior for the better. But sadly, not everyone will accept what you're telling them, even when you're explaining this to them in a logical way. Another strategy is to set boundaries. You need to protect your own needs and feelings and prevent resentment or conflict with others. Also, a third strategy is to model good behavior. You can demonstrate how to act in a socially appropriate way and help them realize what they're doing wrong. But the thing is, you can't change anyone, only if they decide they want to change. So can social intelligence really be improved? Yes, social intelligence can really be improved. Social intelligence is not a fixed trait that you are born with or without. It is a skill that can be learned and improved with practice and feedback. Just like any other skill, such as playing an instrument or speaking a language, social intelligence requires time, effort, and dedication to master. The more you expose yourself to different social situations and interact with different people, the more you will develop your social intelligence. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, and if you want to bookmark this video, don't forget to subscribe so you can view more of our content or even watch this video again. I'll see you next time.